Somebody gets the short straw having to be next to me. Other than that, so we're ready to talk. <laughs> I promise to be good. Hello. Hello. Hopefully you all feel warm and welcomed by Lexington, Kentucky. I think so. I'm telling you, when I start getting the social media questions about this panel, I appreciate it. I get excited, but you guys out there are crazy. <laughs> so, yes, now, once again, no one come to see me. I'm not going to say another word. We're just going to keep it moving. We're going to be about 40 minutes. Good. Let's start off with our first question. Go. No pressure. Matt, you, you got this. It's like Jeopardy. No pressure. <laughs> Stand over there. We'll go over you. you got it. And if you can't, I will yell it out here. It was a really good script. It was a really good script, and um, as Holly told me and you know encouraged me to actually read it instead of having it thrown down in the back of my car. You guys don't know I have a po podcast called Let's Be Clear with Shannon Doherty, so I talked about it. Thank you. Um, and yeah, it was really good. It was just well written, and I could see that friendship between the girls, and then what happened is it, it came to life, right? Like, that show is one of the best shows I've ever had the pleasure of being a part of, for, for sure. Charmed is very special. Next victim. Oh. <laughs> All right. Hey, we get some tissue. <laughs> um, well, you know, for me, uh, being an only child, um, it's it's fascinating to me how many family members, you know, would watch this show together, and that it brought families together, multiple generations together. Um, I don't need one yet. <laughs> I may need one in a second. Um, 
you know, so, so that's terribly impressive to me. And I always say that's a really good thing. Well, because uh, I do have I do have four children, and so I know how difficult it is to get them to agree on anything, let alone sit together quietly. <laughs> so um, that's that's always very impressive to me. And there's something special about this show, also that um, for people who didn't have a good home life or a good parental unit, um, that this kind of helped with that. And that's still ridiculously impressive to me. Um, because we just wanted to be authentic, and um, I'm glad that there's emotion and heart, and I'm not crying yet. <laughs> and, and, you know, feelings, emotions that still live through it and really touched people. I mean, and, and you know that you've touched a lot of people. We've encountered them, you know, right here. We encounter them all the time. There was, um, you know, a lovely deaf man who came to me yesterday, and he'd written out a thing that he... Uh, his best friend was in the hospital with pancreatic cancer and it was really bad and he didn't expect him to live much longer. And um, it was, you know, as somebody with stage four cancer and who faces that, that every single day of my life, I understood in that moment what he was facing with his friend and it was incredibly emotional, but that he wanted to be here and he wanted to take photos to go to the hospital and show his friend there there's today there was a gentleman named Justin and you know what his childhood which it's not my story to tell but what his childhood was um, and what charmed did for him in you know the time period that he got to watch it how it relieved some of the stuff in his childhood and when we hear stuff like that and all, all of us hear it it is it is rewarding, it is emotional, as Holly said. It is, um, you know, you guys are our family also. And it's an honor and a privilege to have helped anyone through anything in their lives. And, and I wanna say thank you to all of you because I know that you helped me with my cancer journey, so thank you so much. And I think you help all of us. We love you, Shannon. <laughs> It's the same. I mean, it's, um, you know, as, as an actor on TV, you don't really get to interact with the audience ever. So doing Comic Cons has kind of allowed us to, you know, look at everybody eye to eye. But uh, I think Charmed itself has, uh, it's, it's different. You know, people come up or they just sleepwalk or whatever else we've done. It's, it's just a different fandom. Uh, Charmed seems to have touched nerve with people and, you know, they watch with their families and the friends and stuff. And, I think, like you said, you know, I, uh, going through things with my son and family this year, and how much support they came out for my son that wasn't even me is is beyond, uh, you know. And that brought me to tears just to know that you know people out there don't even know me um, are giving back from maybe what they got from the show. And you know, every time we stand up and we meet you face to face, it's it's just you know, it's it's everything. Uh, you know, you guys fill me up as much as, you know, I guess the show helped you. And it's, it's, it's always just a pleasure to be here, so. And you get married to proposals. I, I got married twice yesterday. I don't know if they were old or not, so. Still single, yo. Come see me at the panel. Vegas. I know someone in the room, there's a third one coming. I'm not pointing at you, Kat. So, Did you get a marriage proposal too? No. Oh. <laughs> right? I don't know if something's wrong. Right? I'm not, I'm not full fledged human beings. Yeah, no. Like, I'm take here. my daughter, please. <laughs> I think they offered me their daughter. I think they're scared to ask story. you because they're scared Piper might freeze them. That's right. <laughs> Nobody's good enough for my child. <laughs> <laughs> a husband you can have. <laughs> Strangely, I've never felt more loved. <laughs> no, I, if you guys take a moment, you look to your left, you look to your right. Like, we are all here. Like, this is our extended family. This is, I look out, and there's no one specific moment for me. It's every con, it's every face, it's every interaction. It's being in this room, looking at you guys, and kind of, we're all sharing in something that is continually filling us up, bringing us joy, connecting us. Uh, it is the most beautiful thing. It's the one of the great joys of my life that I get to travel with these, some of my best friends, and 
get to talk about something that has brought us all together. And uh, it's not just here, it's global. And we love it, and we are so grateful for every one of you. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're excited. I am always excited to see these guys. Oh my god, my head explodes. <laughs> but I think actually it's because of you guys. Really? I just have to ask you a question. We met in Indianapolis because you guys were there. Ah, so see, that's how we meet people. We like, like that too. We, we, we encourage people to band together and travel a lot, and it happens. Have you seen the dinosaurs? Yes. <laughs> that's so cute. There they are. Who watches Charm Me, but he got upset when uh, Prue left because that was his favorite. Okay. So he, I had to record. Your husband is a really, really smart man. <laughs> 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 yeah, glory home. <laughs> <laughs> and so I had to, I have all 200 copies of Charm Me on my phone. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I love you all, but the question, please. Um, my question is to you. It's okay, take a second. Um, is Charm Me like Charm Me Live? Like, what era, like, you know how you guys went in different eras and stuff? Which one was your favorite era to go into as far as, like, the 20s, the 50s, the 70s? I think Future Piper was my favorite. She was very angry. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> Through in the future, she was too. Yeah, she was not not fun. Yeah, but your powers um, were badass. Well, I liked my Western episode. Yes. 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 It's cool. Like a girl in chaps, a cowboy hat, and guns. So <laughs> down with boots. And boots. Okay. And boots. Don't forget to. When's the Western episode? No. Uh, that was a lot of pleather. Oh, okay. All right. Hellfire was, yes, a lot of play. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty awesome. What was your favorite yeah. alter ego? I, I, when I was in the 60s, you know, like, oh, of course. Yes. 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 I was yes. wasted. Yes. That. That's, yes. that. That's because Leo has multiple families, and the 60s really worked for him. And your child, Moonbeam. I, I actually don't have an answer for this because oh. I didn't really get to exist in multiple timelines. Or You're did. future boy. I am, but like, <laughs> it really, we didn't go to the future, but from a, just a fan standpoint, watching thus far, the 20s, I think was, or the 50s. But do we count Chick Flick as 50s? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so yeah, Chick Flick. Good, right, good answer, good answer. Oh. <laughs> I haven't seen the Western episode yet. Oh, oh. Yes. Sure I thought you went to the okay. future when uh, for Chris it. sent for you to come yeah. back. That's true. There was like a ton of Because you were in the Charmed here. House with the hologram book. That's true. All right, let's get to our next question. I want to make sure we get through all of them. Yeah. the living room because we could, was my but yeah. the living room we could lay down. <laughs> 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 yeah. The was really pretty. It was, it was so yeah. beautiful. In person it was that beautiful as well. So. There was a lot of wicker. Oh yeah. Vestibule? Yes. It was funny though. When we filmed in the living room everybody would be like, okay, just go in here. We're going to block it. It's like, People would just run for a couch or a chair. <laughs> Get this where I'm at. <laughs> I can do it all from here. I got the couch. I got the couch. Uh, I guess She's I'm like standing. He's like freezing from the couch. He's like, I got the couch. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Next question. For all four of them? All four 
Uh, resurrection. Yeah. I do still miss blowing up things. It's hard to do that now once you have that. Yeah, I wish I could heal, you know, it'd be amazing. <laughs> All right, Fuller, let's go. Well, okay, yeah, no. All resurrection blowing up. He's not even listening. <laughs> no, I could, my character could do anything, so yeah, I still want to be able I to do everything. I beg your pardon. <laughs> I can do everything. No, you, no. Okay. This goes along the line. Somebody told you that you saved all of us, and this, I did. this is I untrue. Saved them. <laughs> I saved them. So, that's just one person's perspective. I like that perspective. You're going to stand up. <laughs> yeah, man. What? Technically, he wouldn't exist without my uterus. <laughs> I've been doing this nine years. Right. Technically, technically you... if I could take it away. Technically, you wouldn't exist if the Dark Lighter hadn't put Just life in I... Leo in the alternate universe. That's right. He had daddy issues. In nine years. <laughs> uh, this is a lot of fun. I know, I know, but in nine Welcome years, that's the, the first time panel. you've heard uterus in a panel. I've oh, seen it. <laughs> This is the first time. You should yeah, have been to yeah. dinner last night, my friend. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I was at the word. VIP. I'm so, I, sh I, would have, I wish I was invited. All yeah. right. What was the magic yeah. drink word? Just yeah. kidding. Yeah. Virginia. Virginia. It was vagina. <laughs> that's, that's vagina. The, yeah, it's the Sky's one. <laughs> Well, we're very proud of it, but it wasn't by design. It was just us being individual people and um, having strong opinions and just wanting to represent ourselves and our friends and you know family, women that we had around us accurately. Um, so I think it was just a combination of our personalities and, um, and Connie, who wrote it about her sisters. Um, but, I hear that there's not so many shows like this anymore, you know, for oh, young people, and that's kind of a bummer. That's why the next generation needs to come back out. Then she said it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. I didn't say the R word. I didn't say the R word. <laughs> but we would love it. Yeah. Yeah. The imposters. Yeah. The new attempts. Say that again? The, the, the imposters. I didn't say it. <laughs> it was terrible. I didn't even give it one episode. I have lost completely. We have. <laughs> Shannon, you are correct. Just say Virginia. <laughs> Virginia. Virginia. <laughs> Uterus. Does anyone, does anyone have anything else to add? My six year old's in the back. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know he was going to be here. Why him walk in? I'm so sorry, right at the front. I knew he was coming from Bluey. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. Next question. Next question. Do you have a show that when you were growing up that was special for you? Oh, yeah. Oh, God, this is going to age me. <laughs> I liked Murder, She Wrote. Yeah! yeah. What? Yeah. That was your son, you said, Murder. No, I watched. I my mom will watch a lot of Murder She Wrote, Matlock, uh, uh, Ironside, whatever. No, but I I was always got home from school and watch you know Happy Days, uh, Brady Bunch, Laverne and Shirley, that whole thing. And what's so strange is like you watch those shows and I thought they were on the air currently, but they were in rerun. And you know, that's what's so strange that so many of you have found our show in TNT in a rerun. And you know, to think that we're kind of the same show that you watch when you get home at three, it's just, uh, it, it's kind of mind boggling. That, you know, yeah, 6 a.m. That's we're, why people we're kind are of surprised we're so old. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go wait a minute. Do you have an answer? Yeah, no, I was a diehard 90210 fan. Oh, wow. Woo! That tracks too. Yeah. Diehard. Yeah. True story. <laughs> that, Models Inc. 
Bottles and bottles. Bottles and bottles. Like Wednesday night was dream night. Dream wow. night. One you were just destined for a spelling show. Yeah, it was. Manifested. I actually did. I know. Did Shannon, did you get a chance to answer? Uh, no, but it's okay. <laughs> Sounds great. She manifested There's a lot of people. people. I don't need, we don't well, I don't think they're actually lined up. Yeah, go ahead. They're just hanging. They're just hanging. Oh, right. they're, they're standing it's standing room. It sounded like a really good excuse for not answering. <laughs> <laughs> I got your back. Thank you. Um, this is for anyone. Um, you and Connie say the same thing. Yes. Then... Absolutely. Sorry, did I jump on that too? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, she asked if we wanted the original creator and writer, Connie Constance Birch, to stay, and, and the answer is yes. I mean, there was at one point where we had a team of guy writers that were just, it was not quite the same. Nope. Yeah. No. They tried, but they, could, they couldn't be us. That screwed us a lot. Screw this, exactly. I used to, it was like our drinking game last night. I was like, are they in the writer's room just doing a shot every time they make me say this? <laughs> Oh, no. We're screwed. That's what it was. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We're screwed. Still. Okay. Next question. That's okay. Um, was there any storylines like doing the rewatch that you remember liking originally and then doing the rewatch and like it as much or vice versa? The Wendigo. Through... <laughs> <laughs> I definitely didn't like the Wendigo. You liked it. No, I didn't. Alright. <laughs> no, I. <laughs> That's allowed. I, I had no idea how much I would enjoy all these episodes as much as I did, but it's, I've been very vocal about this. Hellfire is, yeah. it touches all the things. My 90210, like, cross <laughs> Slow mo, leather, assassin. You have to listen to the rewatch to know. Don't worry, we'll get to it. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> okay. Anybody else have anything else to add to the question? It's true. Okay, cool. It is true. All right. Sir, you're going to be our <laughs> last, <laughs> our last question. Yes, you I, pointing I'm at you. Really All right, <laughs> next question. You <laughs> played it real cool. Hold on for okay. one second. Yeah, now go. So obviously, Charmed is a very like long-running show, so you've gotten to do like a lot artistically in it, like that covers a lot of ground. I feel like as far as acting. Do you have things that you would still like to do artistically in your career that are specific like pieces or types of things? Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I think as artists, you always want to be stretching and growing. Um, maybe it's not even necessarily a character, although there's probably, there's a lot of different characters I still want to play. I, I really want to do an old lady John Wick. Yeah. Um, I just, obviously I'm the old lady. <laughs> so I really want to do that, but I think it, as the older you get, it becomes more about the people that you want to work with, the directors and the producers, and you know, there's so many amazing, amazing young directors up and coming, and then there's just still the old school, Michael Manns of the world, the Martin Scorsese's that you're like, I really want to do this. Um, and then sometimes you also just go, well, God, will I ever be on a show that touches people in charm? So I think for sure, we're all artists. And we may be semi-retired in a way. No, I'm retired, it's but, not semi. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we I quit. <laughs> so she says, but you know, like there are things that your artist soul still craves. I'm already playing Piper. I have a couple of restaurants. I run the plates, I pick up the glasses. Yeah, she just it's went full, really far in real life with you. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no just, difference now. It's no. You, you don't quite have the power to. I could blow things, things up. up. There's propane. <laughs> there's propane, there's all stuff. No, there's no things up. There's dangerous stuff in there. Do you know one of the other anything yet? No, Shannon hit it perfectly. It becomes about um, directors that you want to work with, certain genres, but really, like that would be the dream. Like I can think of like Denny Villeneuve, who just did yeah. Dunes. Yes. Like I would do anything to work with him. He also did Arrival, Blade Runner, twenty 
49. I don't know if you guys have seen any of those, but oh, highly Sicario. recommend. Yeah, Sicario. I want to do Yellowstone. Yes! Like, I I'm going to ride horses every day of my, like, job. Just that would be so rad. Yeah. Me and Costner no. would be amazing. Yeah. Oh, Costner's gone. I bet he'll do something. But it's McConaughey, right? Oh, my be. He's, he's, he's okay, too. You can he's ride horses. <laughs> Thank you so much. Gonna Thanks. play the bongos and the nude. <laughs> I love this. I have the best gig on earth. <laughs> All right, next question. Okay, firstly, I just want to say like thank you to my mom because she's the reason I watched you guys. Like, thank you, mom. Like, yeah, thank you, mom. Um, she's not here right now, but I just want to say thank you for her because like I'm sure a lot of people here have watched with their families, their parents, how they got into it. We kind of talked about how um, we don't really see show anymore like we don't see the character development the story arc like that kind of stuff but we can't negate the fact there is a new charm series so oh. i'm curious oh. 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 Yeah. i have an answer to that that i'm not saying yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my question is have you guys seen it how have you felt about the portrayal of the new charm which is that the new generation oh. is going to see because there are a lot of people who don't want to watch like the original because they are like they watched the new one and which is beautiful, right? Hold on, let me explain why that's beautiful. I'm listening. So every single, <laughs> every single one of you that's here has connected with us and with ours, and what that's done for you and done for your like childhood and your families and keeping you bonded and everything else. There's a whole other generation that is having that experience with the new charm. Mm -hmm. So even though. <laughs> They're also, they're also, the new charm is, well, first off, it's canceled, I believe. Um, <laughs> indeed. Um, but th that also means that 100 people are out of jobs. But they also knocked on our door, so, I mean. Um, it's like, I just think that anytime that people get employed, it's a really good thing. So I applaud that show for employing people. And those girls, they, they're actresses who just want to work. And... Good for them. They got on a show and they're working. So I'm supportive of anybody being able to pay their bills. Indeed. All right. So, next two questions. Come on, Jurassic Park. Is there uh, any show now or then that you would like to bring your characters into or bring characters from them into uh, Charm, like Leo and Band of Brothers? Leo should go to like forensic files. <laughs> Salt so and shit, weird. orb out. I could orb in before the crime actually happens. You know? <laughs> Maybe, you know, Unsolved Mysteries, get Robert Stack. Ooh, these women. That's for evil, Leo. Uh, you go to Touch by an Angel. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Chris was born. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. I'm still impressed by Holly's Touched by Angel. It's really good. Thank you. She's been hanging out with me a lot. Just getting my material. She's been touched by an angel. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> <laughs> this is a family show! <laughs> no. Uterus. Drink. <laughs> Are we not giving you all a spectacular morning? <laughs> all right. You guys are going to be back at your tables okay. a little bit right after this, right? If they have questions, so feel free to do that. This is our last question. We're going to go. We're going yes, to be sir. Serious now. Uh, I related to Holly Marie Collins' character in Charm for being a chef for the past 22 years and being the youngest to be pushed into the, you know, kind of into being the middle child. And then my question is are you guys interested, hopefully, for us maybe doing a reboot? For one episode? One? 
Come out of retirement. All I want said it. You did say retired. So did Tom Brady. <laughs> and he won a Super Bowl. Um, I think we've all individually and collectively said we were interested in doing one at different points in time. How do we make that happen? CBS. Yes. CBS owns the rights for some reason. All right. So we petition, right? You have to petition. You have to make some noise. Got to call. Yes, we can. Uh, yes, you can. Petition. Yeah. I mean, yes. There's some good ideas out there that would be real easy to do. And with that. Bring Charm back. Yeah. And with that, I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry, but we have to end with Wait, we have some things. Who here has uh, heard of the podcast? <laughs> well, you guys made this really difficult now because we only have one, two, three, four, five things. Uh, oh. Six things. I just want to meet you guys, and I'm good. I'm good. Anyway. <laughs> Drew Fuller, can we have that hat? Yes, you can. Aww. Go live in the audience. Okay. Be a male model. No, no, let Brian. Do it. Woohoo! Brian's a male. He's touching angels. <laughs> and he's and the angels. Sorry, right, touch people. Oh wow! Touch people. Listen to your mom. Nice. I have a picture of Brian. Yeah. A lot of pressure. Woo! Come on. Great. No marriage proposals. For the 